I slept this late? Well, you had a rough night. I'm sorry if I pushed. No, what happened with Ryan? I had to get it all out, so thank you. You're welcome. Well, now you owe me big time. And I know just how to pay you back. Really? How? I'm going to give you that in a moment. Um, hmm. And what happened to us ruling the universe together? You know, starting out with fusion and moving on to the hospital. I thought we were going to own this town. Well, that's when you were protecting me from Ryan. But now that he's officially written me off, you're officially off the hook. Okay, but what if I don't want to be? All right, look, if you've decided that it's time to move on, I'm fine with that. Otherwise, I am perfectly happy with the way things are. How is that possible? I don't... I'm not feeling... I, I know, I know. You're not feeling what I feel. I realize that. David, you deserve so much more. Really? Says who? I'm married to the most incredible woman who has my back at every step. You can't possibly think that's enough. Why not? I think it's a hell of a lot more than most people have. All right, look, I won't deny it. If you ever grow to love me more, that would be fantastic. But if not, I'm perfectly happy right now. We make a great team, Smythe. That's Hayward to you. Does that mean you'll stick it out? Like I have anywhere else to go. Oh, thanks. No, I'm serious. Majority of Pine Valley can't even stand to look at me. My own father included. You're all I've got. Same here. So, what do you say we enjoy our breakfast, huh? Mm. These photographs are how much I am not looking forward to seeing Erica today. I mean, if we thought she wanted to claw my eyes out before, she's even worse after the trial. Well, then gouge hers out first. I just got a manicure. Well, you two are still competing on your new cosmetics lines, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then move up the deadline. Pull out all the stops. Win already. Nothing would infuriate Her Highness more. Now that's what I like to hear. Hmm. What do you say we hit the town this evening? I say yes, please. And celebrate our victories. Why will you be victorious? I'm getting my job back at the hospital. Get out. When did that happen? No, it hasn't happened yet. I got an email from one of the board members. He wants to see me this morning. He didn't say why? Ah, he doesn't have to. I mean, come on. I may not win Mr. Congeniality, but no one can deny the fact that I am excellent at what I do. I will be reinstated, and when I am, they won't just be calling me doctor. They'll be calling you chief. That's right. Gonna need one of these. <laughs> there you go. Don't be shy. So let me guess. My oh, meeting with Stan Mulverson. Cancelled. But don't worry, because I've come in his place. Goody. And these two clowns are the entertainment? Oh, that's not nice. Now I I invited them because I, I wanted it to feel more like a party. Ah, <laughs> uh, David. Now. I know that it's not your birthday, but we thought you deserved a gift anyway. What is it? You gotta open it and find out. Yeah, you gotta open it. Now, I spent some quality time with the board going over your uh, questionable activities over the past year, and I think that my input had a very big impact. It did, and I have a little input in there as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure you did. And that's why we need these glasses, because we're going to be doing it. Tomorrow. Yes, yeah. yes. So, to the Pennsylvania State Board of Medicine and to their top-notch decision-making, David Hayward, your medical license has been permanently revoked. You are no longer able to practice medicine. <laughs> Never gets on the cheer. Never, right? Not exactly the face of a guy who got his job back. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. This is just the beginning for me. So, 
how do you plan on getting your license back? I'm really not worried about my license right now. I'm more focused on the big picture. Translation? I need to secure Pine Valley Hospital once and for all. How? I'm gonna buy it. <laughs>